With the successful mission of Apollo 8, NASA only needs to fulfill one more critical task before they can land men on the moon. They need to know if the lunar module will work or not, the spacecraft that they will la use to land on the moon. And the lunar module is a, is a lightweight, spidery looking vehicle um, that is only meant for landing on the moon. It's its only goal in life. But it's a very complicated vehicle, complicated because it's really not one spacecraft but two. You have the descent stage which the astronauts use to actually land on the moon and then once they're there the descent stage serves as a launch platform for the ascent stage, the cockpit of the LEM. The LEM splits in two and then the two astronauts come home to their command module with another astronaut inside and then they, they go back to Earth. This system needed to be tested because it was very complicated. They'd only had a few man, a uh, few dockings before and this would be the first docking between two manned spacecraft. So th this is a dangerous mission where it would be the first time that NASA would send a crew into a spacecraft that could not re-enter into the Earth's atmosphere. The lunar module does not have a heat shield that can stand up to the um, harsh temperatures that a spacecraft experiences when re-entering Earth's atmosphere. So on March 3rd, 1969, Dave Scott, Jim McDivitt and Rusty Schweikert climb atop their Saturn V and um, start off on their mission March 3rd 1969 and the, the mission goes goes perfectly they successfully pull the LEM out of its docking adapter in, in this stage it's pulled along behind them in, in this uh, adapter inside the rocket and then they have to detach their command module, turn around, come back and pull the LEM out and that was completely successful. Problems start arising on the second day of the mission when Rusty Schweikert, who was supposed to perform a spacewalk to test out the Pliss backpack, started feeling sick and he was vomiting quite badly and th this spacewalk was necessary to test out some of the safety systems on the LEM. So, without Rusty doing the spacewalk, they couldn't launch. They couldn't safely launch the lunar module. If if they sent Rusty outside in a spacesuit with a helmet and he vomited, he would likely asphyxiate and die. So, that this was absolutely shocking because. That meant the lunar module would not fly and Apollo 9 could not fulfill its mission objective. So the mood around NASA was very, very grim after the second day. They just went around testing as many systems on the lunar module as possible without undocking. And the mood lifted a little bit when one of Jim McDivitt's air ground transmissions made everyone smile because he a little bolt floated up from the their command console and Jim McDivitt radioed back down to Earth that they, for the next LEM, should give it an extra going over with the vacuum cleaner. And then Jim McDivitt looks over at Rusty Schweiker and he says, you know Rusty, you're looking a lot better. And Rusty goes, yeah I am, I am. He says, you want to take a ride outside? And so Rusty says, yeah, sure. And the EVA is back on. Their, their spacewalk is back on the, on the schedule. And this means that the lunar module can fly. So Rusty Schweiker dons the spacesuit and goes out onto the porch of the LEM, just outside the hatch, and um, stands up and tests out this, this backpack, testing different systems in this backpack. And then Dave Scott climbs out of the uh, the hatch, just stands up in the hatch of the command module and, and films him, films him as he's testing 
this uh, this backpack and it's the first two man spacewalk in history again another important thing for sending astronauts to the moon and an incredible moment on Apollo 9 happened when one of Dave's cameras broke and he had to go inside to fix it and that gave Rusty something unheard of on an EBA free time for three minutes there was nothing for him to do but look at the earth seeing his, his whole planet circle it's just rotating underneath him it was an, it was an, it must be an incredible sight for for Rusty Schweikart but again all too soon Dave got his camera back out and continued with the spacewalk once that was done they weren't out for long it was only about an hour and 45 minutes